everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to look at how to draw and interpret a simple line graph. So when it comes to line graphs, line graphs are specifically used to show trends over time. And in this particular example, I'm going to use the UK average house price between the period of 2008 and 2019 to show this change over the time in years. So we first need to start off by drawing our X and Y axis. And then we need to decide what data is going to go on the X axis and what data is going to go on the Y axis. Now, as we're drawing a line graph, what we would choose to do is put the period of time along the X axis. In this case, it's years, but you could be looking at a data set for months, hours, or even days. So I am going to spread now the years between 2008 and 2019 nice and evenly along my X axis, as that is going to be our dependent variable, our time variable that will not change. So when we are looking at drawing a line graph, your dependent variable is always the one that remains constant and steady. In this case, years. We can then turn our attention to the y axis. So the second piece of data we're going to use is the UK average house price in pounds. And I'm going to choose to put the pound sign in the actual axis label. And that way I don't have to continue drawing out pound signs for every number I write on the y axis. I then need to look back at my data set to look at the maximum number I need to go up to on this y axis. So as you can see, the average house price maximum figure I will need to reach is 228,000. So I need to again evenly distribute the numbers up my y axis to show this. Now I am going to decide to go up in 25,000s, which might not always be the best number to go up in but as I'm dealing with a small piece of graph paper here this is what I've chosen to go up in so I can reach that maximum number. So with a line graph, I recommend you use a ruler when it comes to plotting your points. So if we start first of all by plotting the year 2008 that had a U K average house price of £186,000. The first thing I would do in this case is actually move my ruler in line with the Y axis so it is on £186,000. Now as you can see on this particular graph there is no smaller lines to get it perfectly accurate. So what I am doing here is estimating whereabouts I would put 186. I know it is between the numbers 175 and 200,000. I then just need to basically show whereabouts it is in relation to those two numbers and that's why I've decided to place my ruler where I have. So now working from your X axis, your bottom axis, we're going to just trace a line with our pencil in your case and pen in my case from the year 2008 all the way up to when it touches my ruler. And when it touches the ruler, that is where you would place your X in order to show the average house price for that year. We can then rub out the tracing line that takes us from the x-axis to the x because now the point has been plotted, that line is no longer necessary. So we're going to continue this step now and plot the UK average house price for 2009. So again, we're going to repeat the same steps. We're going to move our ruler to roughly in line where we believe 157,000 would be. We'll trace that line and then when it hits the ruler, we'll mark it with an X. We'll continue doing this process from 2010 to 2011, constantly moving our ruler, tracing our line up from the X axis until eventually you become so used to doing it that you might decide you don't need to trace a line from your x-axis anymore up to your ruler and instead you'll just use the graph paper to guide you. And as you are plotting these points what you will start to see is an overall trend or pattern which is why we choose to use line graphs to show this type of data set. So once we have plotted all our points we would then connect each point like a dot to dot using a free hand and a pen or a pencil. 
Now notice as well that my line just kind of hangs on my graph. It's not connected to my X axis and it's also not connected to my Y axis. We then finish off with a nice clear title so we know what this graph is presenting. So once you have created your line graph and presented your data, we would start to then analyze that data and interpret it by looking at which features of the graph decreased, which stayed steady, which increased. So what we can see from this particular graph between the period of 2008 and 2009 is that there was a slight decrease in house prices. Then between the period of 2010 and 2011, house prices remained at steady at 167,000. And then between the period of 2013 onwards, there has been an increase. You would also potentially find it helpful to note the overall trend. And in this case, we can see that our line from 2008 to 2019 has increased over time. So we would say here that this line graph shows an overall increase in UK average house prices. If you really wanted to impress someone in a GCSE exam or in a piece of work, you could then take this further by actually using numbers and taking them out of the line graph and saying between the period of 2008, their average house price was 186,000. But in 2019, average house price was 228,000, which shows a rough increase of 40,000 pound. This would show that you can also interpret your graph using data manipulation and it will really strengthen your answer going forward. So that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.